break this up into. You have your technology and your hardware, then you have some personal questions that you gotta figure out. But let's concentrate on the hardware as that's the most important, okay? You've gotta decide first off what size works for you. Does a 12 inch notebook work for you? Does a 27 inch all in one work for you? Does a traditional 15 inch? Do you care about being thin and light? Do you wanna have a touch screen? There's so many options that you want on it, but the first thing is, let's look at the size, right? So, you figure that out as we show them to you. Then we're gonna look at the, the specs inside of it. As you guys know, Dell was created on custom building a computer for you, because man, your needs are different than his, which are different than his. So I don't wanna just put one computer on the market and you buy that and everybody buys the same one. Because I could be charging 1500, you may only need a $400 computer. Or there's an architect or an engineer that may need a $3,000 computer. So we wanna custom build it for you. The first thing that you're gonna look at is your processor, okay? Does everybody know Intel? Uh, dun, 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 that, right? That sounds familiar, you've seen those commercials. That is like the engine of your computer. So you can't run without it. it tells it everything what to do, it's the brains. Intel has three main processors that are out in the market. The i3, i5, and i7, okay? Those are the three numbers you need to know. i7, brand new, top of the line, can't get any more powerful than that. i3 is the average today, okay? We have a few, Intel has a few other ones, a lower Celeron, a few quad cores, but the i series is the majority of all their processors. Where do you fit in? 90% of the market is probably gonna fall into the i3 or i5 category, okay? They always say in technology, you don't wanna buy the lowest, you don't wanna buy the top. Why? Because you're either gonna buy something that's probably outdated already, or you're gonna buy something that's very expensive and in six months the price is gonna come down, right? So you wanna stay somewhere in that middle. And Dell understands that buying a computer is a major purchase for you. It's expensive, it's complicated, and we want to make it easy for you and get the right product for you, as I said. Kind of the best bang for your buck is kind of the theme that we're going to go with here, okay? So when you're looking at that processor, you have the i3 and the i5, you get that covered. Then you want to look at the hard drive. That's where you start getting those big You numbers. got a laptop? The 500, 325, 750, one terabyte. What that means, ultimately, is how big is the closet in your house? How big is the storage that you can put that coat closet, or put all your photos, or all your videos, or music, or presentations, right? Most of the people, if you have 5,000 songs, presentations, movies, 500 is probably more than enough for you, okay? Basically, almost any computer that we give you is gonna be more than enough for you, okay?